If you still think a tablet is just a bigger phone, this one might change your mind. The Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition 2025 is designed to deliver a complete PC-like experience bundled with a keyboard, stylus, and pre-installed apps for productivity and creativity. And here's the kicker. It does all that at less than half the price of a fully accessorized 2025 iPad. So today, we're putting it head to head with the Apple iPad 2025 to see which tablet is the better deal for students, young professionals, and creatives. Let's get into it. Right out of the box, this year's Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition comes with the third generation M Pencil that magnetizes to the top of the tablet and charges wirelessly. It sports an ultra low latency and the paper matte display makes it feel as close to writing on actual paper, which can be great for those who love to pen notes over typing or even digital illustrations. Potential buyers should also be happy to get the Huawei Smart Keyboard bundled in, another separate purchase we don't need to worry about with the MatePad 11.5. Tactility feels great for a compact chiclet keyboard, and since it's a first-party accessory, the macros and the function keys work seamlessly with the tablet. The keyboard itself magnetically attaches and detaches to and from the case, allowing users to type without having to be anchored to the tablet, or even use it as a makeshift remote control. The iPad, on the other hand, gets Apple Pencil support, whether that's the USB-C Apple Pencil or the first generation, as well as Magic Keyboard Folio support. The caveat here is both these accessories are sold separately. Plus, writing on the glossy surface can feel a lot less satisfying. This can be remedied with a third-party screen protector, but then again, that's another purchase altogether. So if y'all haven't gotten the hints, for this round, the win goes to the MatePad for the amazing value we get from the bundled accessories. For configs, Huawei's 2025 MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition treats its users with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. Apple's 2025 iPad gives us 6GB of memory and 128GB of internal storage for its base variant. In real-world use, we may not feel the subtle differences between 8 and 6GB of memory, but the storage difference is a lot harder to write off, especially for those high-risk photos and videos we like to store locally. On the software, software side of things, out of the box, the MatePad utilizes Harmony OS 4.3, while the iPad runs on iPad OS 18.3. The MatePad's multitasking tools like multi-window make it a strong productivity workhorse for those who need to bounce between multiple apps. It also runs Google Apps with little to no issues via the updated Huawei App Gallery. The iPad's counterpart for Huawei's multi-window feature is Split View and Slide Over, which pretty much does the same thing. And the iPad handles apps from the App Store as as expected. Speaking of apps, a full version of WPS Office comes pre-installed with the MatePad, which is another great alternative for the usual productivity apps without the need for an online connection. Huawei Notes, not to be mistaken with their Notepad app, can pretty much do everything the iPad's Notes app can do, like registering our handwriting for note-taking, scanning documents, and even split view. The main difference is the default iPad Notes app doesn't give us custom page templates or the ability to change paper size. For something like that, we'd need a subscription for a third-party app like GoodNotes if we want more than three notebooks. This year's MatePad 11.5 is Huawei's first mid-range tablet to get GoPaint which is the brand's answer to Procreate. The latter does not come free with the iPad. Luckily, it is a one-time payment. Procreate has been around a bit longer than GoPaint, but in essence, the difference between the two can easily be forgotten once users realize just how feature-packed and powerful GoPaint actually is, especially in combination with the third-gen M Pencil. Both apps are specifically designed for their respective platforms, and we're sure that most digital artists can easily find value with either one. Closing off this round, we'll have to give it to the 2025 MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition for its better baseline storage and RAM configuration. Not having to pay for third-party apps is also a great bonus. This year's MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition features an 11.5-inch 2.5K 3x2 full-view TFT LCD display, sporting a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate, and the aforementioned paper matte layer, which reduces glare, reflections, and enhances eye comfort. In comparison, 
comparison, the 2025 Apple iPad comes with an 11-inch 2.5K liquid retina IPS LCD panel that gets a 60 Hz refresh rate and a glossy finish with two-tone technology for color temperature adjustment. Both displays deliver sharp and color accurate output, which are great for watching and viewing our favorite content. The paper matte finish greatly reduces glare, eye strain, and offers that nice paper feeling surface when used with the pen, which we really liked. The iPad's glossy display can definitely give the impression of deeper blacks, but can feel more fatiguing, especially when used during graveyard hours. And so, for this round, we'll be giving it to the Huawei MatePad 11.5 once again for the better screen refresh rate and eye comfort. Powering the 2025 MatePad 11.5 is a large 10,100 mAh battery that supports 40 watts of supercharge, giving us about 12 hours of screen on time. In contrast, the 2025 iPad packs a smaller 7,606 mAh battery with up to 45 watts of power delivery charging, offering us around 10 hours of screen on time. So for battery, the iPad may get the hoopla for faster charging speeds, but unfortunately, they only include a 20 watt charger in the box, which implies another purchase for consumers if they wanna take advantage of its faster charging speed. That's just another reason why the MatePad wins with its bigger battery capacity and longer battery life. Now, before getting to our obvious verdict, let's recap how much everything we've mentioned could potentially cost prospecting buyers. The 2025 Apple iPad 11 inch starts at 24,990 pesos. That's with the base configuration with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Add in the USB-C Apple Pencil and that's another 4,990 pesos. Let's not forget, we also need that Folio Magic Keyboard, which adds another 16,990 pesos. We can probably make do without a Microsoft Office and GoodNote subscription, but we do need Procreate for this comparison, so that's another 699 pesos, which totals to 47,169 pesos. With that money, we could just opt for the 512 gig storage model, but we would have to let go of all the accessories and Procreate. In other words, it's pretty much a no-brainer to go for the 2025 Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition, which we heard from the grapevine will only cost us around 20,000 pesos. Again, that's a package that includes awesome freebies like the third generation M Pencil and Smart Keyboard with WPS Office and GoPaint pre-installed out of the box. It's crystal clear at this point that the Huawei MatePad 11.5 won this comparison. It's one of the best tablets to offer a PC-like experience for less than 22,000 pesos. The MatePad is a great purchase for students, writers, creatives, social media managers, and value seekers who want a complete package out of the box, capable of replacing a traditional laptop. The iPad is for practically the same demographic of users, but is best suited for those already invested in Apple's ecosystem. For those of you interested in the Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition 2025, we can get a 500 peso early bird voucher through the brand's official Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok shops. We can also snag a 1,000 peso early bird voucher from the Huawei online store starting August 29th to September 30. So, what did you guys think of this comparison? MatePad or iPad? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, helpful, or educational, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. So once again, my name is Miguel T. This was the Huawei MatePad 11.5 Paper Matte Edition, and this is the Apple iPad 2025, and I'll see you in the next one.